first sinya okay pesia yet hwaud asala tricks me mayam test them. Seeds chatla kesin kulman ke hui hui chin kwe seeds and waste test system South Fork. Es questle meat stem dem hot maliam is ten hot seedlin. Pen castle me neut stisha. Kehuit cat lip tap stisha. Well, sin kun ko ta aspeyak. Ta yu aspeyak. Quisent Hainum teach a system burnt cabin. Shall can't snitch it to Queen Quinchlutel Tribal Health. Till shake a hooker leap teach a scar. Cawitchum to eat litty. Te whom to lead you could shake a who you get leap, get a talk and talk and so get we jumped hasks. Get the whom to hasks will show neck, get we jumped who eat, get them put to us as. Who eat a speck of me? When I can wait them to sip it, no, see, sip it, see berries. I was just telling a little story about last Wednesday. The people from the culture committee went up to uh, South Fork. We're mainly looking for medicine, medicinal plants, and whatever else we could find, berries or stuff like that. And we went to Burnt Cabin and had lunch there and looked around for huckleberries. There was a few, but most of them were not even uh, ripe. And after lunch, we went around to a trail. And f around that trail, we found um, tea, the mountain tea. And there was quite a bit there. And then we, from there, we went around the corner and up the roadways and found a little bit of roots. It was really a beautiful day up there and very peaceful and and pretty restful. And in that area and right along the road the wild strawberries were just ripening. What well, you know, wild strawberries are small compared to the strawberries you find in the store, but oh, are they tasty. So with that, we'll go on to our other lessons, and I'll do the calendar. The month of August is called and that's because at this time of the year, the huckleberries are really ripening. If you can find them, uh, there's, if you find a lot, you know, they're really ripening now until 
probably in September. We've had a late summer this year, so some of the things are late. We looked at um, the wholesome bushes, the Indian ice cream bushes, but there weren't any berries on those bushes. Okay, the days of the week, starting from Sunday through Saturday. Schatze. Schatze. Schwe. Schwe. At last, at last, or Tiuklasila Tiuklasila Chatla Chatla Elmo Elmo or Tiuklimo. Tiuklimo. Tsilchsta. Tsilchsta. Schle. Schle. Okay. Stashasp Kanis. Sensina. Sensina. Now the new stuff I'm going to do is uh, has to do with time also, is the time of the day and the greetings. People have wanted to know the greetings. Someone says, well, we know how to say good morning or good day. And what do we say after that when they have a conversation? So I'll do a little bit of that after we learn the greetings a little bit. Maybe the next time I'll have more conversational stuff. When um, people meet each other, and I've asked about this, who says ah? And I was told the first person to say something to the person they've just met, they're the ones who say ah. And another version is, the guys always say ah, and the ladies always say eh. Might be true, because I always say eh. Okay, ah. Ah, hello or yes. Oh, excuse me, that's just hello. Ah. Ah. Uh, and the person responding, or the women, say, eh. Eh. And then um, next you say hest. Hest, that means good. And depending on what time of the day it is. If it's morning, then you say hest squaxed. Hest squaxed. And any time of the day, you would say hest schadcha. But the longer form and probably the more correct is schadcha. Schadchart. 
Chest Schell Hart Then if it's in the afternoon and you want to say good afternoon, you say Chest Sinyak Oke Chest Sinyak Oke In my day, people didn't usually use sinyak oke as a greeting. But nowadays, people want to use it. So if you want to say good afternoon, you say chest sinyak oke. Then getting on towards the evening, real late afternoon or evening just before dark stluh stluh you say chest stluh chest stluh and nighttime I don't think the people greet each other by saying good night. It's when they're leaving from each other or going to bed. Then they say chest skukoe. Chest skukoe. Skukoe is night. Okay, the greetings are ah, ah, with the handshake probably, especially if you haven't seen each other for a while. Ah, the response is eh, eh. And then if you want, you can use the time of the day. Chest. Chest squexed. Or chest schadcha. Or chest schadcha. Or chest sinyak oke. Chest sinyak oke. Or chest stilu. Chest stilu. When you say good night, when you're going to bed or when you're going home from somebody's house at night. Chests kukwe. Chests kukwe. Okay. Now I'm going to do the numbers up to 10, and then I'm going to do the numbers to um, by 10s to 50. Remember, if you know the numbers from 1 to, through 10 by heart, you can go from 10 to 20 or 20 to 30. And another good way is to count using money. We'll do that in the near future is counting money. In ku. In ku. Esel. Esel.
Chatle Chatle Moose Moose Seal Seal Taken Taken Sispel Sispel He Etnam He Etnam Hutnut Hutnut Open Open Remember from 10 through 19, you say open et, and then those numbers. 11 is open et and ku. 12 is open et lasset. Then you get through 19, open et chnut, and then 20 is two tens. Es el open. And as we commonly know, es el u. Then you go from there, 21 is Esselu Etlin Ku. Esselu Etlin Ku. And then from there on, you count that way through 29, Esselu Etl Chetnut. Then 30 is Chetl Upen. That's three tens. Chattel open, or as we commonly call it, chattel oo. Chattel oo. And then from there, 31, you say chattel oo etlin ku. Chattel oo etlin ku. Then count that way through the other numbers to 39. You say chattel oo el chatnut, chattel oo el chatnut, then forty. Forty is four tens. Msl open, msl open, or msl oo, msl oo. From 41 through 49, you'd use that same rule. Mslu etlin ku. Mslu etlin ku for 41. Then you count that way until you 49. Mslu etl chatnut. Mslu etl chatnut. 50 is five tens. So you'd say tzil open. Tzil open. Or what is commonly called tzil u. Tzil u. Okay, counting by tens from 10 through 50. Open. Open. Essel oo. Chattel oo. Msl oo. Tzilchl oo. Next time we'll do 60s, and then from 60s through 100. Okay, it's time to take a break. We'll be right back.
In the past, people were raised with respect for each other and the role of sex in the Indian society. Today, the consequences of sexual behavior can be serious. They can even kill you. Please know the facts. Be safe. The family is everything. HIV AIDS is preventable. This is real life, and it has real consequences. Well, let's get started again. We'll do a little review work. We'll review the colors real quick. Remember red? Quill. Quill. I quill yak a mean. Black is quai. Quai. I quai yak a mean. Blue. It's a little bit softer. It's the same sounds, but a little bit softer start. Quai. Quai. I quai yak a mean. Green, queen, queen, a queen, yeah, I mean. Yellow, quadly, quadly, a quadly, yeah, I mean. Orange, um, um, I um, yak a mean. White, white, peak, peak, I peak. Yet a mean Okay, go through those real quick again. Quill Why Why Queen Quali Boom Peak Okay Now some of the animals we've had We haven't had very many The frog, slim slap ma, slim slap ma. Stay it, stay it, skunk. Chipmunk Okay, our food animals Sasilks, the moose Sasilks, 
both male and female are called schasulks. <coughs> The black-tail buck, or the mule deer, whichever you prefer, is pue, pue. The black-tail, or mule deer doe, stulte, stulte. The white tail buck, shotle, shotle. The white tail doe, tsu'u, tsu'u. The white tail um, deer in general. You would say tsuudlihu, tsuudlihu, and the mule deer or the black tail. Those animals in general, you would simply say stulte, stulte. If you saw several, or you saw one and you didn't know if it was a. Buck or a doe, you, you would say, chen wichem tstulze, or wichten tstulze. If you saw a white tail, you would say, wichten tsuulich. And the uh, <coughs> bull elk, tshet, tshet. The cow elk, sne, sne. And when we go ga uh, hunt these, most of the time it's in the fall. Sche, 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 Chaim, the fall hunts. The summertime is called Sa'anlk. Sa'anlk. And the spring is Skepts. Skepts. Winter, Sistch. Sistch. Well, let's go back to July. In July, the month of July we call Chulai. Chulai. One of the, instead of uh, Powwow, the people like to say celebrate or celebration. Because we didn't have powwow, it was, powwow was a word brought from somewhere else. Eschulai, that was after we got cam calendars. Eschulai. But when we celebrate, we, we say, yap, yap, Yep, Katenum. Celebrating S Yap Katni. S Yap Katni. Some of the activities that go on at the celebration. S when she. S when she. That's the dancing been called war dancing. I don't know why. Es ninei. Es ninei. That's the owl dance. Es shilchmansu. 
as Shichimansu. That's the round dance. Another activity as Tsalarkui. As Tsalarkui. Or simply said, as Tsala. That's a stick game. As Tsala. Okay, that's all the time we have for today. We'll see you next time. Hast Hatcha Pesia.